Hey guys, this is a quick video on my Surly Ogre, a bike that I've been putting together for the past four months. Um, I don't know nothing about bikes, I've pretty much built this from researching on the internet, reading blogs, reading um, forums, and watching YouTube videos on other people's touring bikes. So after using so much information I thought I might give some back. Um, any tips or any hints that I could do to make this bike better would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I'll get into it. It's a, it's a Surly Ogre frame, extra large. I bought this frame in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I, uh, I wanted the bigger one, the biggest I have, which is the double XL, but um, it's not available in Thailand and I wasn't prepared to import it in and pay a crap load of import tax. Um, for rims, I went the Vel Velocity Chaka Deep V, very strong rims. Uh, it's got this extra part here, they call the Deep V, and this gives it a very thick profile. And from what I've read, they use these in bicycle polo, so it should be very strong. This one is a 48 hole, and so it has 48 spokes, so then the spokes are DT Swiss Alpine 3s. Again, I think these, well, from what I've read, are the strongest spokes you can get. So hopefully I won't break, break any spokes on my tour. Tires, I went uh, Schwalbe Marathon Supreme. Uh, very good tires, very puncture resistant, and last a long time. For brakes, I went BB7s. Again, from what I've read and researched and from what people have said, these are very reliable and strong brakes. So, that's why I bought those. <coughs> Rear rack, I've got a Tubus Cargo. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, does the job. Fenders, I've got, uh, what are they called? Planet Bike Cascadia, 29 inch, or 29 inch wheels, which this bike is, these are 29 inch wheels, very big boys these are. Rear light, I've got a, don't know how to say it properly, but it's a Bush, Bush and Muller, Muller, Top Light Plus, Top Light Line Plus, and it's uh, driven from my front hub dynamo which I've got this wire here and it connects to the front of the bike which I'll show you in a minute the saddle I went a Brooks B67 um, it's got these two shock absorbers here take some of the sting out of the bumps and the saddle itself is uh, riveted and leather very good saddle again highly recommended in the touring world It's about to fall over there. <clears throat> the drivetrain, I think you call it, is a Dior XT, Shimano Dior XT. And I bought that as a group set. With the cranks, cassette, um, the rings, and the brakes and shifters all together. And very good, very good uh, group set. Well, I think anyway. Pedals, uh, something I found in the bike shop here in Chiang Mai. Uh, they looked very heavy duty and they actually feel quality made. I don't know much about them. MK5, um, super wide, super strong, and they've got these steel threaded bolts sticking out which act as grips. So it's like when I, when I put my feet on them, it's like they're glued to the pedal. They're very, very good. I rate these. A lot. <clears throat> Probably got a standard bottle cage there and an extra large bottle cage here which I can stick your 1.25 litre bottles from your 7-Eleven. They clip in here so securely and 
Yeah, does a good job. I think I'll probably remove this this pump and put another cage underneath for another small one <coughs> at a later date. Front rack, I've got a Tubus again, and it's uh, the Ergo. And it's going to hold my front panniers. Again, I've got the Velocity rims, TT Swiss spokes. This one's actually a 36 hole, so it's 36 spokes in here. Didn't go for the heavy duty 48 like that one because I just needed that for the boot rear. And plus, it's very difficult to get a, a dynamo with, with 48 holes in it, which I'll show you now. This here is the SPD Dynamo. That actually, as I ride, um, it generates electricity, which supplies this Bosch and Muller headlight LED and the rear, um, the rear light. So that Dynamo powers both of these, and it also, with this cool little thing here. This converter here converts it into this hang on, this battery, which is a biologic recharge they call it. And this battery is um, I use to charge my iPhone, my GPS, things like that through a USB port here. So the power comes in through this feed from the Dynamo, comes in and then it comes out here into my to my iPhone or whatever I'm charging. So just, that tells you the level, three bars, it's full. And push that button, it's discharging. Yeah, very good little thing. For the bars, I've got a, a H bar, Jones Loop. And this is a very unique bar, I got from, ordered from the States. Very comfortable, makes the bike for me, it just makes the bike. It's amazing. It allows me to sit upright. It's got the. I can put my hands back here or here or here. It's just a good bike. A uh, good handlebar. <coughs> Though I did have to do something special here, which I got off a blog from a guy who uses the same same bar to put on my front all lib uh, front bar bag. To mount this, you needed a like a T piece here. So I had to buy a stem, a brand new stem, and I cut it, cut it here, and then mounted it on my bar so I could put this piece here. <clears throat> I got some funny looks at the workshop when I when I cut that brand new brand new stem. They couldn't believe it. They thought I was a crazy foreigner, wasting money, <clears throat> which I probably was. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Excuse the messy room. Um, yeah, so this is part one. The other, I'm going to make a few other videos showing all the gear I'm going to bring on my tour. And I'm also going to show it fully loaded on the bike, which won't be for a while yet, because I'm still waiting on some things to order. So, one of these. I better cut those. Some zippy ties I've got to cut. Okay then, thanks for watching. See ya.